The Orlando massacre and the L.A. Pride arrest hit very close to home for members of our local gay community. 10 News reporter Candace Crone is live with how the shooting will impact next month's Pride Parade. And people have been leaving flowers and candles all day here at the Pride Flag. Somebody even wrote this message here in memory of our brothers and sisters in Orlando. Now, in about an hour, hundreds will gather to honor the victims killed. The shooting has many people wondering if it will have an impact on next month's Pride Festival. Let's take a look at some video from a previous Pride weekend. Now, this year's celebration is set for July 16th and 17th. Organizers say while they're shocked and saddened by the Orlando shooting, it won't have any impact on San Diego's Pride weekend. Now, they work closely with local law enforcement to make sure everyone is safe. Some Pride participants were the victim of a hate crime, however, about 10 years ago. Since then, organizers have been extremely diligent in making sure security is top notch. In 2006, San Diego Pride attendees were attacked from a white supremacist group with baseball bats and severely injured. And at the end of the day, our community walked away stronger with new organizations like the Stonewall Citizens Patrol. As you can see, the pride flag has been lowered to half staff ahead of tonight's vigil. There's also a heavy police presence out here uh, just to make sure everyone is safe. It starts at seven o'clock and of course, 10 News will be here. We're live in Hillcrest, Candace Crone, 10 News.